Jim just gave you the big picture, and I'm going to give you the small picture, which I think is going to be a pretty big story in the next uh, year, uh, because Fisherman's Energy uh, is on course to build the first offshore wind farm. I used to say in the Western Hemisphere, but I, I realized that the uh, Arklo in Ireland is actually in the Western Hemisphere. So in, in the Americas, we, we plan to build the first, and we plan to build it uh, starting in the fourth quarter of this year. And this is a nascent industry. Uh, we are, among our competitors, a pretty mature company. And we've, uh, we've come a long way in four years. We've come a long way in the last year. Uh, part of that is being at the right place at the right time, I think. But Fisherman's Energy is not a, not a name that fell out of the sky. It really is a group of fishermen who decided that this was going to happen, this was going to happen in their world. And they were either going to be victims of change or they're going to be agents of change. As Jim talked about, the, the OWEDA Act in New Jersey is, is a, a great piece of legislation which I hope will be copied in other places. When I go to other states, I always have a copy in my pocket because I tell them this is where they should start. And the important thing to remember is that the E in OWEDA is uh, economic. It's not energy, it's not environment, it's economic. Uh, uh, I would, uh, Senator Kane, who's sitting in front of me, was a co-sponsor. Uh, Jim Whalen was on the bill, John Amadeo was on the bill. Um, it's, it's, it's really not about putting turbines in the ocean, it's putting jobs on shore. And we get that message of Fisherman's Energy. We understand what that bill says to us. That bill tells us that we can build, you know, but there, there are economic benefits to the state of New Jersey that we have to deliver. This is the project. There are six turbines in a, a straight line, 2.8 miles. We're in state water, and that's a critical reason why this project has a chance of happening. We asked the local college, Stockton, Richard Stockton College, who has a public policy center, to do some um, uh, public surveying of attitudes in Atlantic City and the surrounding towns of offshore wind. But we found that the reactions were even better than we'd hoped they would be. Uh, and if you look here, the blue at the bottom is the opposition to uh, photos of nine wind turbines. And it runs somewhere between 6 and 9% opposition. Uh, what's really interesting is that the, the favorable numbers are all in the mid-70 percentages. So it's overwhelming support for a small pilot project close to shore in Atlantic City. And it's about tourism. Uh, at, at the ACUA, in the first 25 years of the wastewater plant, we had 25 visitors. Since 2005, we've had 20,000 visitors who come and look at windmills. There is a tourism aspect. People do want to see these things, and they want to get up close to them, and they want to, they want to stand under them. They want to know if, they're, if they make noise. Uh, our GE 1.5s at the ACUA make very little noise. It's got to be you know, really humid day. You've really got to stand downwind from them. You've really got to go look to listen. Uh, so we look forward to working with you. And we certainly look forward to having you back in Atlantic City next summer.